try something. This is my Art Deco lamp made uh, circa 1930s. And it's got the blue glass, cobalt glass disclaimer, and that cobalt can be dangerous if, if that glass breaks. And there's I've got bigger sheets of blue glass, and anybody that ends up with a big piece of blue glass from this era, uh, there's a good amount of cobalt in there, and it can be dangerous if it breaks. So anyway, but it is, <laughs> yeah, that's a really expensive lamp, I want to say. I hope we're not inviting people in to steal it, but... Uh, yeah. It's it's a I paid too much for it, <laughs> but it's providing us with our light. Uh, this is uh, pure white snow by Hamilton Aquiard, an original painting, and then uh, famous four minutes. Let me see if I can point this out. Yeah, yeah. So you know, right here, this is this right here. I don't know if you can get close in on that, probably not, but it's a famous painting by uh, R.G. Smith, a famous aviation artist, called The Famous Four Minutes, and it's the best um, possible view uh, that, that you could possibly come up with. And it was copied in the latest um, version of Midway. It's the Battle of Midway, uh, Famous Four Minutes, R.G. Smith, this is just a print. Actually, this is something I cut out of a magazine. Uh, the quality of the reproduction was so good, though, I compared it to others that I've seen. I, I just decided, <laughs> you know, I was gonna mount and have this framed, and it is, uh, it is beautiful. I might be fading just a little bit, I don't know. But the view is of the Akagi getting bombed at the Battle of Midway, and uh, that was the one good thing. One of the, I, I didn't like the, the latest version of the, of the movie Midway uh, because you know getting into the personal stuff behind the background I, I don't see the point in that you know this is it's kind of like a it's, a it's a guy's sport it's a guy thing um, war you know <laughs> it's kind of weird I guess you know think of it that way but that's the way it is uh, so they have to they have to throw some you know relationship stuff in there to so the the guys can at least uh, point that out to their wives or their girlfriends that hey look there's a, you know they're, they're thinking of the female side of the story too <laughs> uh, it's a good point I guess but you know it's to me it's just I think the two should be separate like you know make a story about how the personal things go uh, at, at a time of war which are in, well actually the winds of war and I think about it yeah that television series that massive Huge, like hugely like, most expensive uh, television series ever up to that point. I think still it's like either number one or two the most, as far as the most expensive, and it made a ton of money. <laughs> uh, Ali McGraw, I got a Janet Jan Michael Vincent, uh, Robert Mitchum, Polly Bergen, I think her name was the, his wife. Those are the, the big names, I think. Those are the big names in this thing, but. Uh, I love those series. Those are great series. The thing about war it incorporates both, you know, war, war situations, and uh, but I guess for the most part, it's from the civilian point of view, though, uh, uh, and some really intense relationships that are like, well, family ties that are that are strained to the breaking point, you know, husband and wife, and they're uh, they're kind of like in the what do you call it? the later years of, of their relationship. <laughs> if you've been married, I don't know, 20, 25 years, from that point, I guess, I guess it'd be considered to the, to the later part of, of your relationship. That's what you want to call it. And that's really done beautifully. I mean, you can see Dan Curtis, he's the producer and the director, I think. Pretty sure he directed. He's definitely, it's, it's his series, Dan, his name is Dan Curtis. And he did soap operas. Um, you know, I think he did Dark Shadows, the, the Vampire Soap Operas. I never watched any of them, but uh, Dark Shadows and, and some other stuff. But he really gets into the tensions inside a, um, a relationship bond, you know, like a, the bond in a relationship that keeps it together, the glue that keeps it together, is to have a is to see each other. Well, in a time of war, uh, uh, the winds of war blow 
members of families around all over the place sometimes like they're tumbleweeds. And that's a beautiful line from the movie. I think that's in the movie, but it could have been in the book too. I, I read the book so long ago. Uh, fantastic reading, The Winds of War. The second, the sequel, I wasn't that crazy about uh, War and Remembrance because it's, well, it's just a lot of concentration camp stuff and you know I can take so much of that if it's so depressing, you know. Uh, I'm not trying to diminish the, you know, what those people went through, but it just kind of brings me down. And the winds of war, there's a strain of hope in there, you know, all the way through it. Actually, that's something I never realized until just this moment, thinking about it. <laughs> How about that? That's one of my favorite stories. Um, and as far as the video, you know, the, the television series, I, I was like totally into it. it was, just, Polly Bergen is amazing. She's like one of these fringe actresses, but made a lifetime career out of it. She passed away, I think, in 2016. Uh, but man, she's phenomenal, you know. And the dialogue, the, it's just really, and the tension. Man, there's all these tension, inner family tensions, father, son, wife, husband, uh, sister, brother, tensions, you know, like, oh, uh, you know.
Scratchy there. I'm gonna, uh, I got to the uh, what, the finish line.